using a sleeping bag and a hammock. That's what we're talking about today. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Thank you guys so much for clicking on that watch button. My name is Matt. My channel is all about hiking and backpacking. I'm in hammock camping. I'm Canadian. I go to some pretty wicked places in the Rockies. If any of that sounds interesting to you at all, consider clicking on that subscribe button. But like I said, today we are talking about using a sleeping bag inside a hammock. This is something I get asked about quite a bit. When I first started hammock camping a couple years ago, I didn't have a top coat and I started out using a sleeping bag. So I thought I'd make a video just kind of showing you guys and gals that yeah, it totally is doable. So we're going to go over a couple different ways. I'm going to show you guys how you can use your sleeping bag. If you're one of those people that prefers being completely sealed up and zipped inside your sleeping bag and you don't like the idea of a top coat because it doesn't have a back to it or if you're one of those people that doesn't even know what a top coat is whatsoever i've got a video for that i'll pop up here in the cards for you guys i did a video explaining the differences between a top coat and a sleeping bag we're gonna go over a couple different ways you can use a sleeping bag inside a hammock let's get going something i've always considered with all my sleeping bags and i feel like it's definitely going to pertain to hammock camping because you know a lot of these hammocks the custom made ones are kind of with a lot of these lighter weight fabrics and you definitely don't want to rip that fabric so what i've done on all my sleeping bags and I did this before I got into hammock camping, I did this for tent camping, was I would always take a little bit of electrical tape and wrap it around the zipper tab just to cover any little potential sharp edges. Uh, you know, I don't want any snags in my hammock. I don't want to be falling through it and sleeping on the ground. If you're one of those people, you want to use a sleeping bag inside a hammock because you just prefer the feel of a sleeping bag and being zipped up inside of it, I totally understand because I know a lot of people who prefer that over the quilt. So it is totally doable to get yourself zipped inside a sleeping bag inside your hammock. I find the easiest way is to lay your sleeping bag out in the direction that you would be sleeping. So I'm going to like position my sleeping bag on the diagonal here and then have it opened up. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit inside the sleeping bag, kick my feet into it and slide myself into my diagonal lay, slide my feet inside the foot box and I should be basically situated inside the sleeping bag. It's actually pretty easy. So as always, getting into the hammock, shoes off, right? So sit down, take the sleeping bag, just kick my feet over, take the foot box, right. sit in. Now it is kind of there's a little bit of body positioning and. Adjusting at the sleeping bag when you get in here, but it's doable. And once you get the zipper on your side, you see doing in a tent. Zip yourself up. You put your head into your hood if you want to. Oh, lovely. Totally doable getting into a sleeping bag inside your hammock. Getting out, just the reverse, obviously. This is my reason for not actually ever zipping myself into a sleeping bag in my hammock, is the getting in and out. But, yeah, totally doable. This method for using your sleeping bag with your hammock, I've never actually even tried before. I'm not sure where I saw it. I'm pretty sure I saw it on another YouTube channel at some point. But essentially what you're gonna do, take your sleeping bag, And you're gonna stand in it. Now, if you're out in the field, you're probably gonna have a ground sheet down below you. I don't have anything, I just have my grass, but I just raked it and all my grass is pretty clean. Take the zipper, and zip it up. And sit down in your hammock, and then you're gonna slide your feet up over like you normally would. Put your arm in. You can zip it up if you want to. I honestly, I've never actually fully sealed myself inside a mummy sleeping bag. I just, I find it way too constricting. I've always left a little bit open. I just, I like the ability to pop my arms out. I'm very claustrophobic, so I'm not gonna do it now because it bothers me. Maddie, you've given us two ways. You have a third? Yes, I do. Now let's talk about my preferred method. That is essentially using your sleeping bag as a top quilt. So what you wanna do, you wanna have your foot box basically completely unzipped. Give yourself about, you know, 
Till the zipper gets about to the back of your knees, that's about what a foot box seals off with at a top quilt. Just lay that in your hammock. You climb into your hammock. This is the best part. You take the foot box that you have created in your sleeping bag, kick your feet into it, and you just lay yourself down. If you want to use your hood with this method, you totally can. What you're going to do is you're basically just going to take whatever side the hood is on, tuck it around your shoulder, and pull the hood around your head. Just like that. And with my wicked camera angles, you could probably see everything. Oh, hey, that's better. But yeah, totally works. You can still use your hood. But me personally, I never like using the hood on my sleeping bag. What I always did when I was using a sleeping bag as a top coat is I would take the hood and I'd wrap it around behind my head and just use the hood as my pillow essentially. So if you want a little bit of detail here on how this works on the other side, essentially all I'm doing is I'm just taking the hood and just pulling it in behind my head and knocking a little my bit of a close up detail of what I'm doing with the hood here. Just, just wrapping it in behind my head and then just take this other side where like the, the zipper is in the baffle and I'm just tucking it over my shoulder. It fully seals in. It's really warm. My butt's cold though. My butt is cold. Bottom insulation, you need it. So there it is guys and gals using a sleeping bag inside a hammock. Totally works. Like I said at the start of the video, this was my method of using my sleeping bag. I didn't have a top coat when I first started out, so this is what I did. Just showing you guys that it totally does work. So if you're looking at getting a hammock and all you've got is a sleeping bag and you think I need a top coat, it's gonna cost so much money, totally doesn't. You guys can totally do it. You can even use sleeping pads in these things. If that's a video you guys wanna see, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll show you guys all bottom insulation on hammocks if you guys are interested in that. But uh, yeah, as always guys, I am Maddie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.